Sometimes you're praying and you're pushing, but you don't understand. When you get the understanding, it opens. It's a key. The earth shall be filled with the no, knowledge of the glory. See, the glory is here, but we don't have the knowledge of it to open it. You get it? They had the Ark of the Covenant. They had the Ark, right? Called Ark. They got it. Oh, we got the Ark. Woo! I can feel the presence. Now what do we do? <laughs> and also the Ark kind of slows down a little bit. They're like, oh, well, I'll just fix it. I used to be a mechanic before I was a priest. The guy's in there trying to fix the wheel. <laughs> Electrocuted. He did not know that was an electric car. It was new technology. That art, that higher glory is a different. You can't treat the new glory like the old anointing. You can work the old anointing. You know how they say work it? You don't work the glory. You know how they used to say get out of the spout where the glory is coming out? There's a lot of truth in that. You get in that realm, and then it's like, what do you want to do? You, you're taught how to do anointing stuff, how to interpret dreams, how to prophesy highly sick on this level. But when you get to this level, you're not taught it. It's, it's at the moment you're there, God gets, I mean, walking in water, what book was Peter reading for that? He was, step, he was pioneering new realms, you get it? So it's just at the moment, what does he tell you to do? And when you feel, see, a lot of us are strong in giftings and anointing, and the danger with that is you can be so strong in a gifting that you don't need to rely on God. You can be backslidden and still be prophesying at the bar or still, you know what I'm saying? The gift are irrevocable. But you want to go beyond your gift into the glory. I see miracles many times beyond my own faith. How could that be? Because I use my faith not to get someone healed. I use my faith to get into a higher glory. And then the glory, God's hand from that glory, heals people beyond my faith. Are you getting what I'm saying? That's why he prayed, Lord, revelation up on our mind. Remember he passed and prayed that in our ears? Because he was picking up, we're going to need this to get this. I'm speeding you up. How many want this? How many want to see things beyond your own faith level? So how could that be, brother? You have to have faith, and you aim your faith at the object. That's one level of faith. But then there's a scripture that says he'll do above what you can ask or think. So then you can't even aim your faith at it if you don't even know what to ask for. Above what you can ask or imagine, that's beyond your faith. Because I believe according to my faith, I'll be healed, my debts will be paid. Okay, that's great. That's faith. And then he does it. But how about believing for something beyond your faith? Abraham had a belief for land he didn't even know beyond his faith. He didn't know where he was going. Huh. How many want to catch? I want to catch a whale, man. I want to go fishing for some big. I want to catch, I want to bite off more than I could chew. You know, they say, oh, he bit off more than he could chew. How many want that? I'm going for, I'm for, I'm going for the big tamale, man. Whatever you call it out here. Huh. I like it out here. People are funny. Alabama. Woo. Can anything good come out of Alabama? Yes. And it's going to be, you know, and people are going to hear about it. They're going to start flying over here. What's going on in Alabama? Out there now. They think it's all sticks out here. I've drove, there's a big city, Birmingham, and there's some other places. There's some stuff out here. Ooh, courts of heaven. I want to go to the court room. So I, well, I'll talk more tomorrow morning about courts, but you can go to the, I have a whole book on the courts. Oh, can someone give me some of my books? I'll, I'll just put them up here. Can someone, one of the helpers, get me? I guess she's the, one of the helpers, so she, all right. And um, so court, I'll talk tomorrow a little more, but the book on courts of heaven tells you how to go to the court of heaven. How many have prayers that are just not breaking through sometimes? You prayed, you fasted, you bound, you loosed, you released, you you soaked, you blessed, you, you know, if you give commands.